Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Auto. So here we have a Nissan Leaf for sale. It's a 2013 24 kilowatt hour Tecna model. And it is one of those uh, Gen 2 ones which are uh, made in the UK and doesn't have the pale interior like the originals did. So Tecna models are the top of the range spec. So what you get on a Tecna is 17 inch diamond cut alloy wheels. You have LED front headlights which are absolutely brilliant. You've also got cameras all round. So you've got a camera down there looking at the front. You've got cameras under the mirrors here looking down the side and of course you've got the camera on the rear and that gives you that bird's eye 360 degree view on the dash and you also get leather interior with heated front seats and also heated back seats and you also get the Bose uh, sound system in the car as well. So as you can see it's in red metallic. This isn't the same paint you get on the newer cars. Uh, this is a nice colour actually. It's not that sort of fire engine red like you get on many of the newer ones. It's called magnetic red metallic. Um, and when the sun's out it really does sparkle and goes much lighter and then on a dull day it looks more of a sort of burgundy colour. I'll just open the charge port at the front there because this car has got the upgraded AC charger. So a standard these are a 3 kilowatt charger but this has got the upgraded 6.6 .6 kilowatt charger for faster charging at home overnight or when you're on a public slow charging post. And then this is your DC rapid charging port, 50 kilowatt Chadamo for when you're doing that quick roadside charge. I apologise for the background noise, the RAF are doing helicopter training over us and uh, I've been trying to film in between but they just constantly keep buzzing around in circles so I've just got to continue. Um, so anyway, and uh, the other thing is the charge cables, let's have a look in the boot. So here we've got our type 1 to type 2 AC charging cable so that's what you would use to plug into a public AC charging post or your home or workplace wall charger and there we've got the granny cable so that allows you to charge the vehicle on a normal main socket that does take longer because that can only draw 10 amp whereas if you're using a proper wall charger you're going to charge at 30 amp. So the purpose of this video primarily is to show the condition and if you see my videos before you know I point out every little stone chip mark or scratch I can find I don't hide anything and then that gives people the confidence to buy the vehicle from afar without coming to view it here first and I can get these delivered anywhere in the country. So I might sometimes come across a little bit negative because I'm pointing out tiny little marks that most people probably wouldn't care about particularly when you're looking at a vehicle of this sort of age but as I said I want people to know exactly what they're getting and then mo when most people receive the vehicle you know it's in far better condition than what they're expecting because I just point out things that most people really wouldn't care about. Um, so this vehicle is a 2013 so what's that uh, seven years old now it's done 54,000 miles but it's in really nice condition it's quite an exceptional one this one uh, I've also polished and uh, waxed it all and gone around and touched up all the little stone chips and uh, scratches with the correct paint and lacquer uh, but I'm going to point those out when I walk around uh, also the front alloys have just been refurbished uh, professionally done uh, so they look amazing and it's also got brand new tyres on the front as well and they're Goodyear tyres which are the quietest tyres you can get in this size. So let's start here so obviously um, new tyres on the front the tyre tread depths are on the website and I would just say everything I'm going to point out uh, I've taken pictures of so if you go on the website and have a look at the photo gallery you can have a look at the pictures in detail you can go full screen and you can also zoom in and have a really good look. Um, looking down the side here there's no dents at all it's in you know it, it really is a cracking looking vehicle but there was a few little scratches here which have been touched up but they are visible because uh, it's very difficult to touch up metallic uh, cars um, and uh, obviously because you've got that metallic fleck you don't get the same um, fleck distribution when you're touching up with a touch-up stick. So there is a, a, a one and a half inch scratch there, there was a stone chip there, there's a tiny little mark there and there's one, two, three, four little touch-up areas there. Um, but they were all very minor and it's just because on the red cars you have a, a 
a white or a sort of pale grey undercoat and the tiniest little mark on red paint shows up as a white scratch so they're quite visible so I have been round and touched up all the areas and because it's so clean and shiny we can see the as you can see you can see my reflection now so in this light we can see where it's been touched up but in other lights they just completely disappear so anyway we've got a one and a half inch scratch there we've got a tiny little fingernail scratch there which isn't touched up a little one there um, and we've got a couple of little scuff marks there but these are really tiny we're talking about a millimeter or, or two um, but as you can see looking along the side it's all dent free um, you know I'm being over picky here um, so probably making it sound rather negative um, tires are good this alloy wheel is all original and very good apart from tiny little scuff mark there the size of my fingernail looking around here uh, the back is all very good there's a few little marks in the paint here and again there and I suspect at some point in its history it's had a couple of stickers on the back which a lot of people um, do and did on earlier cars like 100% electric type stickers um, there's a little scratch there on the bumper of course stuff gets loaded in so these rear bumpers generally do get scratched but it is much better than average the lacquer is a little bit um, peely here area the size of my hand um, and that only looks worse where it's been polished and you get a little bit of white of um, where the polish uh, gets stuck in the edges of the lacquer but when that's worn away that sort of disappears more um, it wasn't noticeable at first until I sort of polished the vehicle um, looking in the boot we've got our two charge cables as I said we've got the Bose amplifier there we've got the um, tire repair kit in there the carpet is a little bit bubbly on these they always do that um, it's just the sort of cheap carpet you get in modern material um, in modern cars um, but of course if you're going to do anything serious in the boot you'd probably get a boot liner for it anyway and then we've got uh, the green number plate showing that it's a zero emission vehicle looking around the side um, we've got a little scratch there which i missed off but that's down low um, this alloy wheel is very nice as well very good tire uh, just a few really minor marks around the outside but um, so much better than these normally are looking down this side um, very nice again there were a few little marks in the paint here uh, which did improve when it was polished but there is a more significant scratch there about three inches by one inch again it's got a bit of touch up paint but as always it sort of shows a little bit in this paint um, and then we've got a number of tiny little marks uh, but all very insignificant and they're only showing up more because this car is so cleaned and uh, newly polished and waxed uh, the mirror caps are all good no damage on those um, and there's one tiny little pinprick dent there but really insignificant and uh, you would be hard pushed to see that one uh, refurbished alloy and new wheel there looking around at the front we've got two stone chips there which again have got a little bit of paint in um, actually we can see the sparkle in the paint sort of coming now because the sun's starting to come out a um, couple of stone chips and minor scratching on the front but of course it's a car that's done some miles and you're never going to have uh, a car without any stone chips unless it's been resprayed um, but for a seven-year-old vehicle that's done 54,000 miles this really is much better than most would be uh, we got a little scratch there on the charge flap a couple of stone chips there another one there but this is all in the plastic bumper and then on the metal bonnet a couple of uh, minor stone chips and very minor scratches didn't really need to do much touching up there we've got a couple of minor little stone chips there that um, haven't been touched up don't really need it um, but as always you know I'm picking out very small things but uh, you stand back well stand back a meter from the car you just look at that and think that's a cracking car for the age 
it really is much better than average. No stone chips in the windscreen and then uh, looking on the inside it's all very clean and tidy obviously you've got to remember it's a seven year old car but the nice thing with the Tecna models because they have the leather seats they do um, wear much less than the versions with the cloth seats um, and the sort of leather I think well I think it's synthetic leather actually but the leather on the door cards means it wears much less than some of the earlier Leafs did um, looking in the back again all very clean and tidy so uh, being a Tecna we've got the uh, heated seats in the back and there's the switch there we've got high and low so your rear passengers have heated seats like your front passengers and then looking at the front here obviously uh, very little wear here on the driver's seat for 54,000 miles the bolsters are still really nice have cleaned all the leather as well uh, we've got a leather heated steering wheel here there's our switch there to turn the heated wheel on so very little wear on that as well because again the leather wheels um, wear much less than the plastic wheels do um, and yeah just really clean and tidy inside right let's just jump in and get away from the noise of that helicopter so let's uh, switch it on so um, obviously being a techno we've got the um, touchscreen uh, multimedia system here um, that's also got the um, single slot CD at the back there uh, we can see there on the dash we've got two charge times which shows us we've got the upgraded AC charger and we can also see we've got 12 out of 12 battery um, state of health bars here uh, which again is very unusual for a car of this age normally they'd have lost a one bar by now but the full details of the battery pack uh, is on the website so we've got our switches down here for our front heated seats our gear selector here and um, if i just put it into reverse we can see there uh, we've got our 360 degree camera and our view out the back it's a bit difficult to see because the sun has come out now and it uh, is rather bright um, and then the final thing the mileage is 54,279 miles so we've got two original remote keys there and let's just get the uh, paperwork out we've got the locking wheel nut key there in the uh, glove box and then we've got the original wallet with all the uh, manuals and quick start guide and uh, service book let's just quickly show you the service book um, we've got one two three four five six seven stamps there in the service book and then here we've got the paperwork a bit awkward doing this one handed hang on i'm going to put the camera down so uh one previous keeper so um two keepers from you the registration date is the 27th of june 2013 the mot expires on the 15th of the 9th 2021 but this last mot was done at 52 and a half thousand miles so it's only done uh 2000 miles since the mot and they've got a whole load of receipts here so uh it's just had a service um and it's had a new cabin filter uh, the new cover on the cabin filter because those snap new front wiper blades a new 12 volt auxiliary battery at the front and the two new front tires and uh, everything else was um, all good including the brake fluid um, i can see here we've got a receipt from the previous owner to show the front lower track control arms that were replaced and that was uh, in August 2020 at 52 and a half thousand miles and then we've got um, one two three three previous Nissan receipts oh and and a couple of receipts there that when the vehicle was new or new to the previous keeper so yeah all the paperwork that you would want to see and obviously everything works without any faults or errors so let's quickly talk about range this has obviously got the 24 kilowatt hour battery uh, the battery is very good on this as well 
Um, so range, we're showing 77 miles there. That has dropped a bit because I've been filming and not driving. Uh, but this uh, is showing 80 miles when it's charged. Um, and uh, we're getting into warmer weather now, but it hasn't been driven in the warm weather yet. So that will probably knock up a little bit as it gets a bit of um, warmer weather and more driving, um, more e economical driving history on it. Um, so the range of this is exactly what uh, it would have done when it's new. The battery's still um, at 88% state of health. Uh, and that does fluctuate, so that may well rise a little bit anyway. Um, so yeah, for a leaf of this age, it really is a good one. Um, so yeah, generally, um, range depends very much how you drive and also your um, energy draw. So obviously when you've got the heating on, you're going to um, uh, consume more energy. But generally you're looking at around um, 80 miles, 80 to 90 miles in these and something like um, 65 to 70 miles in the winter something like that but there's lots of factors which affect range but anyway the full details of that are also on the website so i think i've pretty much covered everything i'm going to wrap this up while the helicopter is on the other side of the field before it returns um so yeah just to recap it's a 24 kilowatt hour techno leaf in this uh magnetic red metallic and it's just in lovely condition it really does look good um, I hope I'm not sounding a little bit negative by pointing out tiny, tiny little scratches and stone chips. Uh, as I said, when you stand back and look at that, it looks a fantastic vehicle for a seven-year-old vehicle. Really does look so much better than the average. And uh, as I said, it's all uh, polished and waxed as well. And when the sun comes out, it's just absolutely gleaming. Uh, it's also got the refurbished front wheels. The back wheels are exceptional as well, so they all look really good. Uh, new tyres on the front, very good tyres on the back. Um, two charge cables as well, and this has got the upgraded 6.6 kilowatt AC charger and still 12 out of 12 bars on the uh, dash. So yes, best spec, really nice colour and really good condition. So this vehicle is ready to go, so if you're interested, give me a call or email. Uh, if there's anything uh, else you want to know, then do email, email me, but uh, all the details are on the website, so do look at that. And uh, as I said, I can deliver these anywhere in the country, so if you're interested, give me a call or email. And uh, if you're taking delivery, then it will come to you on a trailer or a flatbed, and it will be fully charged and ready to use.